Now that we've ensured that our home, furniture, and all of our loved goods are taken care of, let's ensure that we are fed. <laughs> Chef Chart, please may you remind us, what did we make today? Oh, well, we started on our travel journey making some wonderful Portuguese puri puri livers. I mean, oh, with some fit cook, oh, gorgeous. Then going on to um, part of Mexico with all those wonderful beans and oh, maize and chicken, the whole bank shoot all that guacamole on the top. Then across back to Belgium, Belgium with these gorgeous, decadent, you know, sort of, you know, chocolate squares. And then, you know, Hawaii for a bit of a party. So for mm -hmm. me, just to say, ladies, Cheers. Cheers. Bottoms up. <laughs> ching, ching. Uh, do me, Chef Chart, on social mm. media. We've been engaging with our viewers from the top of the show. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about these opportunities. We get to find out how our viewers feel at home. But now let's turn the table and the pressure back to you. <laughs> this is what we've asked. Italy, France and India are said to be the best food in the world. But which country do you think deserves to take that number one spot? Mm, Chat, I'm going to let you answer this first because it's a tough one for me. Oh, yeah. Some of my favorite foods are from different parts of the world. No, so well, I, I couldn't agree more. I mean, you know, everyone's got something so different. You know, mm. uh, what's people going to go for? I mean, <laughs> oh, I think mean, something so classic is always French cuisine. I mean, you mm. something you can't sort of get away from. But I think you know something like you know India sort of so much coming mm. up. So I yeah. I'm torn between the two. I'll let you decide which one between the two then. I, I won't decide between <laughs> the three because it's, I think it's a it's a hectic competition. There's I mean there's the chow mein that I love that's from China. There's the sushi that I love that's Japanese. We were talking about poke bowls where you'd expect it to also be Japanese but it's actually Hawaiian. So how do I choose between some of my favorite things? It's very difficult to say. So th South Africa maybe this is for you to decide Minangas. I mean I'm not answering. I'm from Durban so I want to say Indian food takes that number one spot but on social media I did already give the answer that you know French for breakfast cannot that croissant how do you say croissant delicious um Indian food I love the spiciness but maybe I want to take the heartiness of an Italian dish put that in for mm -hmm. lunch that pasta and end it off with India so mm -hmm. I think that's my answer so basically all the above <laughs> <laughs> there are we loving the food oh, loving it that's very very chicken oh, oh. Those That's got nice. some vuma. Definitely, mm. and I'm not a spicy girl, um, even though my body will tell me later on that uh, spice is not for me. Uh -huh. But this right here, divine, the flavors, mm. everything just works perfectly. Thank you both so much for joining us and preparing these incredible dishes. We hope that you have your culinary passports and that it's been filled up with our tasty worldly dishes this week. But if you would like to take a trip down memory lane, then be sure to catch these recaps of all the recipes we've prepared on Saturday from 8.30 a.m. Then get ready to veg out next week as we celebrate all things fruits and vegetables and roll with the beloved Cape Town band, The Rockets, this Tuesday from 5.30 p.m. But until then, Mzansi, good night, stay safe and happy eating. Goodbye.